Hi, I'm Iggy with Lincoln Electric. Right now, we're gonna go over touch sensing with the Cooper app on Lincoln Electric Cobots. This is going to help you if your jigs or fixed ring can move or slightly get out of place, or maybe the parts that you're cutting don't uh, go exactly in the same spot every single time. So, first thing we're gonna wanna do is make sure that the welding wire on our torch is always the same length. We can do that by going to welder here and then forward so we could feed out some of the wire. We wanna make sure it's exactly the same length every single time, so what I like to do is just take your welpers, go directly up to the edge, to the, the shield, the gas, boom. So now the distance from here to the tip is exactly the same every single time. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just press the start here. We're gonna then move the torch to somewhere pretty close to our start location. Uh, it's beneficial to make it, we want it to, this to stay the same for both sides. So if it's above the top portion here and outside here, we want so that the way the uh, gas shielding cone does not hit the actual material. So before we go any further, we're not gonna do a weld, we're gonna go more choices. We're gonna go to add search. We're gonna find that location for the torch. We're gonna say, we're gonna press that green button and then we're going to just move that torch directly at a straight line, directly to where the wire touches the material. We're gonna press that green button again. And then it's gonna ask you to search. We're gonna press the search button. Then we'll press calibrate so it makes sure to find the material. Go back to that same location. From here, we're just gonna press that green button again to, to mark that first point for the next direction. We're then gonna move, again, straight down. Boom, where it's touching, green button. We're gonna search. Calibrate, this should be moving straight down, perfect. Now if you wanted to, you could do it in a third location, so you could come from this edge, but we're not gonna be doing that here, so we're just gonna go to more choices, and then add offset on. From here, it's gonna ask search group one. We're gonna press okay, perfect. Now we're gonna add another search on the other end to make sure that we're getting a good, uh, on both sides, a good angle on both sides. So now we're just gonna move to this location. Again, a little bit above here and a little bit outside there. So we're gonna go to green button number one. Search right there at the very top green button again. We will search start, calibrate, and then we're going to go strip, we're going to press green button, and again straight down. Search start, Calibrate. Now we are gonna to wanna to tur turn those offsets off. So I'm gonna go back a couple of steps to where it goes to moves. And then I'm gonna to go to add here. So I wanna add a step and I'm gonna go offset off. So this way it makes sure that we're gonna keep that offset that we just created here. And then we're gonna go back to the very end and we're going to add here. And we wanna make sure to add offset on for this one because we're done searching, we'll press OK. And then we're going to go ahead and add a linear weld. So now we're gonna just do a weld just like regular. So we'll move this over to the start point. There we go, that's a little better angle. Boom, press the green button once for the start weld. And then we'll click and hold the green button to end the linear weld. Then we just move it out, press the blue button because we're done. And then before we're done, remember we want to turn those offsets off. So we're going to go back to more choices, add offset off. Boom. So at that point, our job is done. We're ready to go. So all we have to do is press done. From here, all we gotta do is press the run job, so we'll press play. 
It'll come over, it'll do our touch sensing, to sense the material. And it'll do our weld. Here, if we were to set up another weld and the jig or the part itself is just is off just a little bit, like let's say we put another plate in between these two pieces. So now it's like our uh, part itself has moved. We can run that job again and it will still weld in the exact same seam. that. So this is very beneficial again if your jigs or your tooling is not 100% precise or can move or anything like that, making it very easy and repeatable on parts or uh, tooling that is not repeatable. Mm -hmm.